Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Boruto anime review. This one's going to be for episode 247. So this one was mostly a setup uh, ahead of the sort of next battle with uh, Funamushi. Um, there was some nice stuff in it, but um, I don't blame anyone for maybe feeling like it was maybe a little bit of a slow episode in that maybe that after the death of Kagura, we actually needed to maybe jump straight into the battle and not have too much of a cooldown on things. The episode did have good moments, like the Heavy Chigo backstory, um, I'm surprised they kind of managed to fit it in here, um, but it was good to get, just to highlight some of the character development that she's gone through, the fact that uh, Metal is the character who is kind of seeing this the most out of everyone, that was nice. Like Her, her backstory is relatively straightforward, just highlighting that she sort of... Um, grew up kind of on her own in this kind of area that was basically just you know trash um and all she had to do was hunt for i suppose food items that could be sold in the trash and you could see that her actual passion what she's good at was sewing sewing little uh, scraps together but for whatever reason the person running the place didn't like that and just ripped it apart and so the people she was around didn't support her true talent. So she then goes on to explain that she one day encountered a rogue shinobi and happened to, you know, have some sort of a, a pole thing that she was like searching through the trash with and actually stabbed the rogue shinobi. And that's when the shinobi following him, you know, spotted her and realized that, oh, your, your talent is actually killing people. And she for most of her life went on to believe that that was the case, but is sort of changing now. And so the, the big moment that we get here is Metal kind of complimenting her, because she says <clears throat> the only praise that she ever got was on how good of a killer she was, but here she gets praise from Metal, saying that she's the best at sewing that he's ever seen. So, you know, simple to the point, but they're giving character focus, which is uh, definitely good. One of the other significant things is that we did see uh, Amari and his uh, son kind of uh, reflect on the death of Tenma. I suppose we kind of got an update on Seiren, though it was a little mixed in that at the start of the conversation, Amari says that um, Seiren is on the brink of death. Then he says she will definitely recover. And then in the message at the end of the episode he sends to Funamushi, he's like, uh, I don't think she's going to make it. So, which is it? When they actually showed her with Ikada next to her, it looked bad. So, what's the deal there? Um, I'm guessing she will be alive up until we get to see Borto, Ikada, and a few of those characters together. But, um... Otherwise, that scene was to get across that Amari is growing frustrated with the way his son is doing things. Now, admittedly, it's a few things have got out of the son's hands uh, rather than him being like a complete failure in all of this. But the son is kind of worried now that a lot of his good planning is going to go up in flames because the father is taking over. And I guess they might have to play and maybe explain on some of the how he was defeated in the first place and maybe the son is aware that he's not a good tactician and tries to do things just by power and that makes it easy to counter we'll see but I, it seems to be the case that potentially the villains are going to be actually in the position to win but maybe end up sort of manufacturing their own downfall by um, you know infighting effectively but I suppose from Amari's perspective, he, he does want Funamushi to retreat. He is aware that like, okay, we, we have to kind of regroup to a certain degree. But the key point is that at the end, Funamushi is not going to do that. He's going to attack anyway because he wants revenge. Now, it is interesting that it seems like he's going to m potentially miss out on Seiren's last moments being alive in, in to get just revenge for her effectively. So, I'm pretty convinced that we're going to be playing quite heavily with, I suppose, how Funamushi is killed. I am really, I think they're leaning in that direction. The way it was talked about here with the characters reacting to the death of Kagura and that 
Borto wants revenge without you know saying it as much without sort of having that sense of like I want to kill someone he he does want justice at the very least for Kagura um Kawaki also wants it too but uh, Sarada kind of watching from the sidelines is kind of like hmm, I'm not sure if this is a good path to go down revenge because obviously the other swordsmen want it as well so I'm I'm guessing <clears throat> the, the the main setup seems to be Borto and Kawaki versus uh, Funamushi and um, I think the way they'll probably go with this is that they'll play on like Borto don't do this don't just like kill him in cold blood but Kawaki will end up doing it himself. Um, now, I, I think there's a few little things that they probably do need to play with in all of that, but uh, I think that's probably the way you go with it. I think it's either that, or you maybe have, like, say, Buntan potentially be the one to do it. Um, but, you know, we, we have to wait and see what happens. So, the the main battlefield here, obviously the village, is kind of recovering. We're doing the best that we can. Not, not a lot of food around. The food uh, warehouses have been destroyed. Um, Iwabe and Denki are sent out with some kids to uh, find uh, fruit higher up the mountains, but they end up getting captured by the end of the episode. So that is a complication that I was wondering, like, hmm, do you really need to add that complication in? But I guess for whatever reason, that is what they're going for. Um, that might amplify the situation to the point where, you know, it forces, say, Borto or Kawaki to, like, take out Funamoshi, or that's how he maybe gets away. They reverse the situation and they take him out. Um, it really feels like Funamoshi is going to be, you know, full-on <laughs> taken out at some point. That's kind of what has to happen, because <clears throat> even if he manages to escape, I feel the, the Amari and so on will probably take him out for disobeying orders. So um, it feels like he's sort of just destined to die at this point. Uh, but they can play with how exactly that happens. And I think that would be quite good. Um, other than that, like th there, there were little nice emotional moments. Like the, the, the little food that they have left. The village sort of does this thing where like they like, oh, uh, share this food with us. And they give them food. But then Kawaki kind of leaves and comes back and reveals that, oh... The village is going without food to give the food to us because I suppose we're the ones protecting them. They feel we need to have the food to be prepared for the fight. Um, and just that like emotional thing with the village that they still want, you know, they still believed in Kagura. Uh, they supported him and they're going to support the people who are with Kagura. So that was nice on the village's part. Um, they obviously... Hebichigo is actually the first one to give her food over, but um, they kind of go across the idea that they do give the food back to the village. So that's going to be a thing. It seems like the, the main cast is kind of disadvantaged going into this fight, but um, it seems like Funamushi is very um, emotional going into this and he might make some mistakes. So I, I think that's the situation here, but... They do have the fact that they captured Denki and Iwabe to kind of reverse the situation. So we'll 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 see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um anything else to talk about here? Um I don't I don't really think so. Um I, I, I think they're they're definitely building to the fights are what have to happen. I'm assuming we will focus in on this big battle with Funamushi kind of getting revenge for Kagura. And I'm guessing we'll have to win. The main characters will have to win here, defend the village. And this will cause, I suppose, a Maori to rush ahead, big attack. And we'll cut over to, I suppose, the main end fight scene. As I'm guessing our characters will have to travel from this village back to the Mist Village. And we'll get the big meetups of, say, uh, Ikada um, meeting the Borto and just the reveal of that whole thing. Whatever they're doing with Seiran, if she's going to recover or if she's going to uh, die. Um, because again, it, it was Kagura who uh, killed, the, you know, delivered that blow to her. Um, yeah, Borto was involved and it does seem like the, <laughs> the, the Fanato are kind of focusing in on Borto. The son of the Hokage is with them, so he's our, he's our enemy. So Borto is going to be targeted in all of this. And I guess that will be a little, that'll be an interesting thing for Ikada to find out about and just discover what exactly the deal is with his power um, 
that's very powerful, but he can't control it. Um, but then I think they also have to come back to the whole idea of like him being a shipbuilder, and that's what he actually truly wants. And in that sense, I suppose Ikada and Hebichigo have a, a kind of similar arc of the direction they're being forced down versus what they actually want. So Hebichigo seems to actually want to use her skills for sewing, and Ikada seems to want to use his skills for shipbuilding, but they're both sort of being forced into, you know, killing is what your actual talent is, or, you know, being a fanato with your powers is what your talent is, and, you know, there's some, there's some stuff still to come. It, it, it really all comes down to how many episodes do they plan to have left in this arc, um, because it is getting to the point where like it's it's we're, we're getting relatively long not super long um but it's it's more of i suppose how much significant uh content is actually happening in each episode it's more of like the density rather than the um the length that is maybe the the issue in all of this um so they're my thoughts on the episode in the comments let me know what your thoughts are but that's been it thanks for watching and bye